Hi! A couple of months ago, I wrote a blog post about using Terraform and N0 together to deploy ephemeral, short-lived Kubernetes clusters. This blog post was featured in the Coffee and Cloud Native podcast, which was a really nice surprise. Adrian, who makes the Coffee and Cloud Native podcast, suggested that I make videos, so challenge accepted. I've done a lot of live videos, but recording is a new thing for me and I'm still figuring it out. I hope you will find it interesting and useful. And by the way, I've put the link to Adrian's podcast below this video. I suggest that you check it out too. So what are we going to talk about? Well, I'm going to give you the short elevator pitch. I often need a Kubernetes cluster for a few hours or a few days. For instance, when I do a live demo at a meetup or when delivering a workshop. Now, I tend to have a lot of energy on stage or on camera for live events, but I tell you, as soon as we're done, I get super exhausted and I just crash. I'm so tired that I often forget to shut down the cluster. And that sucks because I only realize it a few days, sometimes a few weeks later when it shows up on my Amazon bill. I don't know about you, but personally, I don't feel like I need to give more money to Jeff Bezos. So I need something to automatically turn off my cluster when I'm done. It's pretty easy to do with N0, and so I'm going to show you how. To be clear, this is not the only use case for N0, but it's one that's kind of spoke to me. All right, let's do this. So I go to app.n0.com, and I'm going to log in uh, with my Google account. The first time you log into N0, you will need to do a couple of things. First, uh, you need to go to organization here and create an organization. Otherwise, you would be using the demo organization, which is basically read-only. Uh, then we go to variables here uh, and we need to put our cloud credentials. Uh, you can see that I've put my AWS access and secret keys and that I've tagged the secret key as sensitive, which is why I can show you this video without blurring it or whatever. I also suggest to set an expiration policy. Uh, so that's in settings and then policies. And that here means by default, automatically destroy my stuff after one day. Uh, that will do. Don't worry about the maximum TTL here. I think this applies only when you have different users and permissions. But here, I'm the owner of the account, so I can do whatever I want and I can extend my environments as long as I need to. Then we need to create a template. Uh, so I go on template here. Uh, and so I need a Git repo uh, with a Terraform config in it. So I did a little bit of research and I found uh, that one. Let me show you. Um, so this is a pretty basic Terraform configuration uh, for an EKS cluster. Uh, nothing fancy, but that will do. Uh, so the exact link is just below the video as well. So back to N0. So I'm going to say um, template name EKS. And then here um, you could connect to GitHub, but just in case, if you don't have a GitHub account, you can also just uh, put the uh, address of the repository here. Uh, and then you put the folder there. And branch is gonna be master. And that's it. Now we can create template. Now uh, we need to go to projects and to project template. Uh, let's see, project, project, yeah, default project. And then project templates. And here I need to go to manage templates and enable that thing here. So you might wonder like, okay, what, what's that? What are we doing this? Well, let's imagine just for a minute that you are the IT department and I'm a developer. You can give me a restricted access to this, allowing me to use only some templates, like maybe a small Kubernetes cluster and only for a limited period of time. So this is how you would allow me to use that template, like to see that template, but not other ones, for instance. All right, and now we, Click on run. Uh, okay, that's all good. Destroy in a day. Perfect. Run. 
And now that's the part uh, where we can go and get some coffee, etc. because this is going to take about 15 minutes. Um, this is not really N0's fault, it's just that EKS is super slow to provision clusters. So fast forward to that. Ta-da! So you can see here that the clock is ticking for my environment. So quick, let's do something with it. Uh, so Terraform has outputs. Uh, so if you deploy some servers, that could be their IP addresses or host names. If you deploy a web app, it could be its URL, perhaps some admin credentials. That particular Terraform config outputs a cube config file. So I can copy that and then uh, paste it to uh, a local like cube config file. And as you can see, uh, that kube config file requires the AWS IAM authenticator. Make sure you have it, uh, because if you don't have it, um, it won't even tell you boo go and install the, the missing plugin. It, it, on my machine, it would just mysteriously uh, time out. Uh, so make sure you, you have that. And also make sure that you have the AWS credentials uh, available. Um, because uh, the, that AWS IAM Authenticator uh, is going to use your AWS credentials to obtain the actual credentials for the Kubernetes cluster. Uh, so now that I have uh, set uh, kubeconfig, I can do kubectl get nodes and ta-da, this is my one node uh, little cluster just freshly deployed like 10 minutes ago. That's it. Uh, so now if I want to customize that cluster, uh, for instance, add more nodes or put that in a different region, I could fork the Git repo I was showing you earlier, commit changes to the fork, apply the changes uh, with that redeploy button over there. So M0 isn't just for small demo environments. We can also use it as the engine for infrastructure as code deployments. And that's a wrap. I didn't want to take too much of your time, but if you want to know more, there is actually like more information in my blog post, the link is below. And if you like this format and want me to record more videos, please let me know. Otherwise, well, I guess I'm just going to get back to writing blog posts and do live online meetups and, and stuff like that. Thanks and have a beautiful rest of your day.